reason for today's video is because of this. Dance Moms and Dance Moms Saga is finally over because of Abby Lee Miller's racism. Finally. It's about time this has happened. This has been going on for too many years, too long, and I'm happy it's finally over. try to like not judge a lot of celebrities because you know you don't know them but Abby Lee Miller can catch these hands like that woman is so freaking mean and disrespectful like she needs to go to therapy but she took her issues out on children that were way more talented than she ever will be and that will never be okay with me uh-uh dance moms was a mess I loved it, but it was amazing. Hey y'all, it's Harriana, and I'm back with another video. Now today we are going to be talking about dance moms because woo, woo, so much stuff has come out. I'm not surprised because I've been new. I've been new for years. If you guys didn't know, I used to be a really, really big fan of dance moms when I was in middle school, and I never liked Abby Lee Miller from the beginning. As you guys know me, I am not afraid to give my opinions about a lot of these celebrities because I can just see right through them and they're a mess. Now, with Abby Lee Miller, I never liked her because I always thought she was really, really mean and really cruel, and I did think she was racist too, but... I feel a lot more comfortable being more vocal about other people's racism now because of everything that's been going on and I always truly felt like she was racist. If you follow me on Tumblr, you'll see that I um, do speak about my feelings towards her a lot on there. And I have stated like that I didn't feel bad for her for going to jail or anything and people were getting upset with me and I still don't feel bad for her because she's a terrible person at the end of the day. Now, there has been a lot of drama going on with Abby Lee Miller and Dance Moms cast and whatnot and we're just gonna go and get into it. Now, if you were a Dance Mom fan from the beginning, you, if you were a black girl, and you were a Dance Mom fan from the beginning. You knew Nia was your girl because you knew you had to have her back, okay? Everybody, every black person has to like Nia, okay? Every Dance Mom fan has to like Nia because that girl went through so much. And her mother did too. And I just, I just send my thoughts and prayers to them because I'm so sorry that y'all had to deal with that woman for so long. Now, I'm going to shut up and get into it. Now, it all started where... Um, Abby Lee Miller posted this. She posted, like, uh, you know how everybody was doing that on black screen thing? Where, you know, the black screen there don't really mean nothing. Everybody was posting that black screen. And then her, um, dance mom, Adriana, 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 I think. I'm hoping I say her name right. Her and her daughter, Cameron. Her and her daughter Cameron. Now, they were a part of the new Dance Mom Girls. So, I didn't watch... I stopped watching Dance Moms after Chloe left. Yeah. Like, the first time Chloe left, that's when I stopped watching. Because I said, if Chloe leaves, I leave. Because I loved Chloe. Now, these are people... These people came afterwards. This is Adriana and Cameron. Black. They're black um, mom and daughter duo. Now, I'm going to read to you a bit about what Adriana said. I recently posted on my Facebook that racism is not something we can disagree on and still be friends, which in turn is why we are not friends. A statement from her that sticks in my mind to this day during this time on, on Dance Mom Season 8 is, I know you grew up in the hood with a box of eight crayons, but I grew up on the countryside with a box of 64. Don't be stupid. This is my friend. This, my friends, is not something or a statement that can be Googled. Ask yourself, what does this mean? This to me is this to me shows that you are better than me and a higher ranks altogether superior to me. This shows me that you don't give a F about me or where I came from. Oh yeah, you don't like the F word, huh? Well I guess I don't have a I don't give a F. I don't I didn't then and I certainly don't now. Don't you remember you told me? Don't you want me to tell you why you're really here? As if I didn't know. Again, show your superiority. Let me remind you that you 
what you said in case you forgot. You told me to look in the mirror and that's the only reason you are here. Cam told me that she heard they need a sprinkle of color. Poor baby. My last interview I was asked to do by my producers. How did all of that make you feel? As tears streamed down my face, I look over at my 7 year old and back at the camera and said, this is my everyday life as a black woman. This is nothing to me. But what I'm not going to do is have a person have not going to have is this racist person have any part of my daughter's life in this movement my producer said i need to be i need you to be okay with leaving i said absolutely cam was so upset with me she yelled at me and said mom i didn't even get to hang out with jojo on the show i didn't want to leave my friends she said mom you ruined it for me of course i was mad she was a mad seven-year-old and i felt bad for her but at that point i knew it was more important to me to show my daughter that she had to stand up for what was right and not care about anything else. But in that interview, my little seven-year-old cried like a grown black woman and stood up and said, Mom, I understand it's not right and I didn't want to go home too. People need to be held accountable for not just their injustices, but also being a closeted racist. Producers only have so much work to control over. A person says anything outside of that is free will. Today, I am tired of being silent because of a contract. I am choosing to be the voice of my family and others, and you can be the voice of your and your families too. Now, woo, woo hoo! As I again, after watching the way Abby treated Nia and also Nakaya, because I was still watching when Nakaya was on that show, no surprise. So, aside from Dance Mom Adriana posting this, also Nakaya Wiley, she was on a few episodes of Dance Moms too. I remember I was so happy when she came to the show because I was like, yes, another black girl. Also, I did really did not like the way Abby treated Asia either, but hmm, she was really disrespectful to all the girls of color on the show, even Vivian, and I did not like that. But Vivian is a whole topic for another discussion because I do feel for Vivi. She's a good kid, but her mom, on the other hand, hmm, which we're about to get into next because... Nakaya, I recently watched her Instagram story where she basically spoke about everything that happened on her experience with Dance Moms. And she did have both things to say about Abby and Kathy being racist. And they basically were saying pretty much the same things about how her hair and her body and it was just not good. And Nakaya even spoke about how Kathy was being really, really disrespectful to her mother, speaking to her like she was ignorant and didn't know what she was talking about. And that is an issue where a lot of non-black people feel like they can talk to black women as if we don't know anything. And I'm just like, that's not how it goes, honey, okay? So after Adrian, Adriana... Adrian, oh my, I think it's Adrian, or Adriana. I'm so sorry, ma'am, if I'm messing up your name. I'm so sorry. Camille Bridges began to speak up. Now, Camille Bridges is Cameron Bridges' mother. Again, I did not watch Dance Moms when Camille and Cameron were on there. So, I didn't even know Dance Moms was still going on after Chloe ended. Well, Chloe left, and then I found out Chloe came back, but anyway, that's not important. Camille Bridges has said this Don't let her take your joy. She has treated every little black girl in her studio like trash. She put them in the back and made them maids, slaves, etc. I personally took Cameron Bridges to the show because she did not show her true colors outside of that studio. When the cameras were rolling, she was not acting. They cut 90% of the stuff she said to us as black people out. She didn't like the way Cam's black feet looked on the floor and had a million stories. We were one and done and yes they walked out meant something to me i don't care if they weren't there for years we suffered emotional abuse from that woman and then kaya who is nakaya wiley's mother then spoke and said don't even get me started on the comments about nakaya's hair or even how her armpits were too dark and accused her of not shaving both abby and cassie were kathy were racist af as were several of the moms now i'm gonna pause real quick i remember that in Nakaya's video, she said the moms that were racist were Kathy. No, yeah, Kathy is a mom, but it was Jill, Christy, and Kelly. Now, they were like the most problematic moms out of all of them, so that didn't surprise me at all. Nobody believed me when I said Abby was nasty in person when they aired on TV and how they had to cut out most of what she said. People thought I was just an angry, bitter black woman. Nobody believed that I endured a lot of racist BS on set, which forced me to act the way I did. And, side note, I really did like when Kaya was on the show because she kept it real. She put the moms in check. Like, yes, I adored her. I loved her little on time when she was on the show. She was great. Loved her. 
And she said, yes, I'm glad you spoke up. I know her cult-like fan base won't care. Still worship her to the ground she walks on. But she needs to be exposed. Most of the moms are racist too. I don't know Cam. I know Cammy was disappointed. But you did the right thing by leaving. You had to protect her. Now, I know Holly and Nia have not said anything about all of this. But I'm just... I can tell that they feel the same way. Because Holly... Abby treated Holly differently than all the Wilder moms because Holly kept her respect, okay? Holly tried to be real respectful to Abby as she could, but Abby was the rudest to her. Like, I remember Amanda, Amanda, BB, love her videos, I watch her all the time. She pointed out how when Holly spoke up for Nia, her daughter, as a mother should do, and Abby took her solo away. But there have been so many freaking times where Christy literally screamed in Abby's face and whatnot. Same with Kelly and all these other moms. They have done really extremely disrespectful things to Abby as they should because Abby was at fault too. But anyway, that's not the point. And she still let the girls dance. And she still let the girls have their solos and everything. So I was just like, do better. Do better. And how honestly it was so sweet and it's just so sad because holly had to stay quiet the whole time abby just me treated her and her daughter like the whole hair situation it still makes me angry to this day where she was going off about how nia's hair looks bad and she was saying that braids look terrible and everything and i'm just like and this is coming from a woman who thinks her hair looks great okay and also cameron did post a youtube video about her experience on Dance Moms. If you guys would like to watch Cameron's video and Amanda's video about Dance Moms, I will link their videos down below for reference if you guys do want to check those videos out. But after, like, this is just all that's just come out. Abby Lee Dance Company, Abby whatever, posted this. She said, I am Jen... And this is like my main problem with apology because she didn't even apologize directly to each girl. She put out a statement for everybody to see. Now that don't sit too good with me. She said, I genuinely understand and deeply regret how words have affected and hurted those around me in the past, particularly those to the black community. Oh, now you want... I'm telling y'all, everybody is guilty right now for how they have treated black people. And I'm just kind of like... <sighs> To Cameron, Adriana, and anyone else I've heard, I'm truly sorry. I realize that racism can come from not just hate, but also from ignorance. And no matter the cause, it is harmful and it is my fault. While I cannot change the past or remove the harm I have done, I promise to educate myself, learn to grow, and do better. While I hope one day to earn your forgiveness, I recognize the world alone is not enough. I understand it takes time and, gen and genuine change. Now, I call this apology BS and trash and pity because you are a grown woman. You are in your 50s. You know right from wrong. You know better. That's my main issue. And Dave's my aging on basically saying that she don't apologize. She doesn't accept this apology because it's trash and she should not. She literally abused her and her daughter. At this time, I do not accept Abby's apology because her apology was not sincere, which it was not. My daughter and I have yet to hear directly from Abby Lee Miller. Moreover, she didn't even bother to tag me or Cameron in the post. So how would she have known she apologized? My friends and peers informed me about the apology. How sincere could it be? What happened to the phone call or at least a direct message? Now, I'm not like going to really skip to the bottom of what she said. I firmly believe that Abby was truly sorry she would have apologized a year ago and exposed... She exposed my then seven-year-old daughter to her first account of racism. So, no, I don't fully accept her apology. I also fully support and stand by Nia, Cameron, and Akaya, as well as the other victims who have been victimized, who have been victims of racism in the hands of the Abby Lee Miller or the industry. Now, y'all have heard everything that I had to say, and I'm going to say this. I don't feel bad for this woman at all. I know how she has gone through a lot of hardships in her life. But I'm just going to head and go ahead and tell all y'all that I have no sympathy for racist people. Okay? I don't. And Abby Lee Miller falls into that category. I know that she has a lot of hardships in her life and everything. I literally laughed when she went to jail. But anyway, I don't feel bad for her because I don't understand. First of all, I remember I uh, if that TikTok you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I was just speaking about everyone. The way she treated white kids was terrible too because 
it's like she projected her insecurities onto them. It's like she was jealous of those girls. Like the way she treated Paige was so ridiculous. And it's because she was Paige was pretty. Paige was a beautiful girl. And she didn't like that. She was just so mean to her. Like with Chloe. All the girls were beautiful. And she just was so jealous of them. But when it came to the black girls and the girls of color. Because I really did not like the way she treated Asia either. Okay? It's just she picked. Like she literally picked out all the little black girls to pick on. Because she. I don't know. Like did she grow up bullying people that were black too? Like I just don't get it. I don't understand how you can treat children that way. Like that is so freaking scary for a child to be like it's all racism and all is already scary but for a child to be that young to experience racism from somebody that's probably three times their age and size is terrifying okay. And I truly do feel for all of those girls. I don't feel bad for Abby at all. I'm glad Dance Moms is finally over because that show is literally abuse, even though I was a big fan of it. It's everything, like Amanda said, everything that made it bad, everything that made it good was terrible, okay? I'm glad it's over. I'm glad Abby's not getting her new show because we need to finally start talking about how this woman is not a good person. And we are the reason why she has a platform because we kept tuning in every single week to watch this show. Now, I'm not saying that the girls don't deserve everything because they do. The girls that have come from the show deserve every great thing that has come from it. But Abby and the moms and Kathy and even the producers because they're at fault too. Y'all need to do better, okay? Fix your racism because it's ugly and it stank. I truly hope Asia, Cameron, Vivian, I'll throw her in there too, the other Cameron, every little black girl that's just even had an encounter with Abby Lee Miller is doing okay because it's terrible and I'm so sorry that you guys had to do with that. Thank you all for watching. As I said, I will have those videos linked down below. I also have donations donation sites that you guys could donate to black lives matter too because yes we do need to keep talking about this subject and getting it out there and whatnot i love you guys so much and thank you all for watching